Growing up in New York, it was just cement. You had all these public spaces and shit, and like, unless you had a skateboard, all it was was cement. We sold this shit out tonight. This is Mike's hometown. Last year, we didn't even sell out the little room. Still on that poodle and I shot that run the juice, juice, juice. It's really just about not wanting to fucking deal with what we see as a, a, a somewhat just fucking annoying and corrupted culture. We'd much rather just form our own little pocket and do what we love. And I think that that's all it was, is that everyone was just doing these hobbies that they love, be it, hey, I'm, I'm freestyling with my friends. Well, if I freestyle, then maybe I can make a song. And if I make a song, then maybe I can put it on a record. If I make a record, then maybe I can sell that because that's what I love to do. It's the same shit with skate culture, surf culture, the whole shit. It always starts with just doing that thing because it's the thing that makes you feel free. It's the thing that doesn't make you feel dirty. It's the thing that doesn't make you feel like you're compromising or having to fit into a mold that you just instinctually he did not feel like the way that everyone else was walking and the path that everyone else was going on made much sense to you. Just didn't seem to fit for your life. Run the shoes. Because I came up in the 80s, rap music in particular, punk music, BMX and um, skateboarding were all just clumped together. So if you look at stuff from the 80s, it would like they throw all four of those representations in the commercial. So even as corny as that was, you're still used to the other countercultures kind of coinciding. So I was really glad that skateboarding in particular was just like, fuck y'all, we're gonna do our own thing. And when they did that, they took their rap sensibilities, and they took their punk sensibilities with them, and they decided what the soundtrack to their actual skate videos and what their actual life was. My first group, Company Flow, was in the first wave of, of, of saying yes, because we understood the shit. People were coming to us being like, can we use your shit in our video? It was a new medium, and no one really cared or knew about it, or everyone was looking at it like money, and we were just like, yeah, use it. I always felt very connected to that culture. And that's how I chipped my tooth. I chipped my tooth skating. I've never skateboarded. I tried that shit once. Fail and said, fuck that, bro. I'm right, still a car. Right. And the crowd chants get that paper. Right. And the mob says, kill that witch. Right. This city get mad to the match. Better way, buddy, buy to the high straight kids. Get a tin for half of the rain and right. hot water from the roof to the basement. I'm a smoke to the planet, eat races. Build a white flag at a zigzag waving. I tell the fuck, but I never love them. Sign you taste it. We tell the fuck, but we never love them. Sign you taste it. When I found rap, I was like, oh good, I'm better than most people at this shit, you know? But it always felt right to me. And the early graffiti mags and skate mags and shit were the, like a lot of people that were covering the underground rap scene in the 90s that like actually gave a fuck. And they, and they weren't discriminating based on region or anything. They just liked the energy. So it's been a real relationship. I remember the first time coming up here, um, hanging out with a bunch of skateboarders in Yellow Wolf, genuinely shocked and awed at a rooftop party that motherfuckers were playing 3-6 Mafia. Like, they didn't give a fuck. They was playing guttural, old school 3-6, and I felt more at home on top of that building than I had ever felt in this city because I got a chance to see, oh shit, our culture does have a place here. But it wasn't with my hip hop contemporaries trying to argue the validity of Southern rap music. It was with a bunch of kids who were from all over the place listening to goddamn Paul and Juice and 3-6 Mafia. Really, we just love rap. So we just love to make rap songs. And we want to make some fucking grimy, dope-ass rap records that mean something to us. All ten, I'm smoking coffee. Still lean on the bean like Boston. My young bitch, she'll find like him. Really, she made that movie coffee. But when my wife in town...